Hey everybody, Drew Dinkmar at DailyRoto.com, putting together a tutorial of our new late swap tool. Uh, this is meant for NBA, DFS, and specifically for DraftKings where you have the ability to late swap. Um, I've brought here to our projections page, you can see the last update was right before lock here. Um, we're looking at just after 8 o'clock uh, Eastern, so there's only two games left to play. Uh, there's not a lot of news that's broken, most of the, or not a lot of news left to break. Most of the news is break, broken tonight already. But we're going to show how you go about using the, the swap tool in order to quickly adjust any lineups as late news comes in and as we update our projections after lock. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to DraftKings and you need to download your entries. So you pick the sport, in this case NBA, that you're downloading. I have 150 tonight. I download these entries and I simply make sure that I save them. Uh, once I save the entries, you'll see, or once I open up the entries here, you'll see that there are a number of spots that are locked in my lineups. That's because simply a lot of the games have started. There's only two games left to choose from. So you can see here, if I expand out my entries uh, in this excellent eights tournament, you can see players that are locked. And so that's going to, you know, it's going to tell our swap tool how to be able to handle this uh, in terms of creating new lineups for you. So I'll save this uh, here in this file. I'll save it so I have it, my DK entries file. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this file um, onto our swap tool. And from there, I'm going to be able to quickly update and edit lineups. So we'll go back here, we'll go up to this upper right area, swap, choose the file that I want to swap lineups on. It's the most recent file that I just downloaded. I will swap this file and it'll take a little time to upload but it will upload the view um, by the individual lineups. You can also choose to look at it by contest or by entry. Um, I think the easiest way to view this is by lineup. You can see all the different lineups here. Now if you had a cash game lineup you'd see the number of times it was used so you can simply click on or off and, and check whichever lineups you want to uh, con continue to hold and you don't want to swap off of or what lineups uh, you want to swap off of. So it comes preloaded with all these lineups. You can see the players that have been locked already. I have a lot of players that have been locked already. And you can toggle back and forth between the projections here um, by going back to the projections and that will allow you to create any groups or rules or anything that you had already done. Uh, you can choose. I still have my same set here that I'm working off of my MME settings. And then I'll just simply swap lines. Uh, in the bottom right here and that what that's doing is it's now creating a new run of all my lineups uh, based on the conditions that I've set forth and it's going to attach those lineups uh, to the entries that they were already attached to when you uploaded them. So this will create a quick file that you'll be able to upload onto DraftKings and, uh, and then you can have all of your lineups quickly edited and changed out here. So you can see the process bar moves along, it finishes out, and we'll see all my new lineups here. And so the way that it's created these new lineups when I download these lines, um, you'll be able to see that basically like what I had before on guys that were locked, you know, nothing's changed. I still have that type of exposure that I had before. So there's really nothing that's moved the needle there, um, but you'll see that all the locked areas uh, are all the player spots that are open now You'll, you'll see uh, they'll have you know, new players that have been put in. In some cases, you know, since projections haven't changed, it might not actually update anything here. Um, but I have this new CSV that I would simply save, and then I would go back to DraftKings and I would upload um, that CSV. And so you, the thing you wanna make sure you do is you wanna make sure that you're saving it as a CSV, which I have done here. And then I'll move out of that. Go back to DraftKings, and I'll simply upload that CSV. And success, 150 out of 150 have been updated. I've updated all the lineups that had the opportunity to move uh, on the projections news. So that's how you go ahead and use our swap tool. Um, feel free to check it out over at dailyroto.com. It's available as part of our, our projections package for the NBA season, uh, along with the optimizer. Again, uh, if you want to use that tool, just make sure that you're logged into DraftKings on the optimizer and make sure that you're um, uploading the most recent DK contest entries upload. So it takes care of locking those players that are already locked 
um, so the, the swap tool can, can work in your favor. But that's it for us. Uh, best of luck using this new tool and this new feature. Uh, we think it'll continue to provide edge beyond lock as we do with all of our projection updates and our alerts and trying to give our subscribers the best chance at uh, being successful in DFS. So join us over at dailyroto.com and uh, have a great NBA season.